XRP officially back on Coinbase. XRP to $75,000. Rumors began to circulate in the market again that the Coinbase crypto exchange will relist the XRP token. Although the trading platform later refuted them, the renewed conversations of such content indicate that market participants, despite the ongoing Ripple and SEC litigation, are looking forward to the resumption of XRP trading. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP. Watch the video to the end to like and subscribe. The ground for talk that Coinbase will resume listing XRP, suspended at the end of 2020 due to an SEC lawsuit against Ripple, was given by technical problems on the trading platform. Because of them, users at some point were surprised to find XRP tokens on the Coinbase Pro platform. After that, a message appeared on the social network Twitter that Coinbase will start trading XRP again. However, it was soon deleted with the statement that the information may be unreliable. Investors took the rumors about the relisting of XRP with great optimism. At the moment, the market price of the token jumped by more than 10%, exceeding the $1. 2 mark. After the rebuttal from Coinbase, the XRP rate fell along with the entire crypto market and is now trading just above $0. 7. Nevertheless, rumors about the resumption of the listing, although unreliable, are a good signal for XRP, indicating that Coinbase users are waiting for the token to return to the site. After all, the current talk about relisting is not the first time recently. In April of this year, similar rumors have already appeared on the market, then the cryptocurrency rate jumped by 18% at once, although it later adjusted downwards. Market participants are looking forward to the resumption of XRP trading on the Coinbase platform. They see the SEC and Ripple litigation dragging on. In 2020, the financial regulator accused the company of selling officially unregistered securities totaling 1.3 billion rubles, but the SEC has still not been able to prove its accusations. And this inspires hope that the court will not find Ripple guilty, and the company's problems with justice will soon end. In this case, XRP will be able to return to Coinbase, which, without a doubt, will once again return the rate of this cryptocurrency above the psychological mark of $1 and open the way for it to the level of $1. 5 and even, possibly, $2 per token. It all started with the transfer of 40 million XRP to the Coinbase wallet on February 17. Now why would Coinbase transfer 40 million XRP to its exchange a week before Biden's executive order on crypto? Recall that the Coinbase crypto exchange was the first to suspend XRP trading in January 2021 after initiating a lawsuit. But it's not the first time that rumors about relisting appear, we wrote about it here. This idea is being actively promoted in the blogging environment. Allegedly, the crypto exchange knows about some agreements between Ripple and the SEC. So far, of course, this idea is not attached to anything and gives a muse for the creativity of crypto bloggers. That's just the interest of the public is fueled by transfers between internal wallets, as it turned out, of the Coinbase exchange. We also remind you that the crypto exchange has suspended only trading with all XRP pairs, but it allows users to store, replenish and withdraw XRP without any restrictions. Banco Galicia, one of the largest banks in Argentina, has reportedly become the first bank in a South American country to offer its clients cryptocurrency trading services. Currently, customers can buy, sell, or store only four crypto assets, Bitcoin, $BTC, Ether, $ETH, USD Coin, $USDC, and XRP, although the bank says it does not exclude support for other crypto assets. In the future, Banco Galicia, founded in 1905, calls itself the most important Argentine private bank and is a subsidiary of Grupo Financiero Galicia, which is a financial services holding company based in Buenos Aires. On May 2nd, Argentine economist Ignacio Esteban Carballo tweeted several screenshots from the bank's new crypto service. Then he told some details about the company providing storage services. For the curious, storage by a third-party company. Like Paxos with PayPal in the USA and Mercado Pago, here it is called Lirium. Initially, it will only be a closed cycle, buying and selling pesos crypto without mobility between users slash platform. We'll have to see how it goes. Lirium is a great company that employs a lot of Argentine and Latin American talents, many of whom previously worked at Zapo. 
As Paxos becomes the dominant player in the world, it is nice to see that the market of regional providers is developing. He continued. It was a secret of the policy that banks and fintech are studying this model after international cases such as PayPal, Robinhood, Mercado Pago, BBVA. The amazing thing is that the first step is taken from the bank. And it starts generating a domino effect. As soon as the cryptocurrency as a service model is launched, we will undoubtedly soon see this development in almost all financial players who seek to stand out in innovation. What does it mean? That the only crypto players should also be different. In a word, the best has already arrived. Finally, he posted the following image of the bank's announcement of the new service, which contains the following explanation of why this service was introduced. We conducted a survey of our clients, and more than 60% of them want to include these assets in their investment portfolio, while the youngest public needs them the most. A few hours later, Brobank, a digital Argentine bank headquartered in Buenos Aires, tweeted that it had also started rolling out a cryptocurrency trading service to select customers. Currently, Brobank supports the following crypto assets, $BTC, $ETH, $USDC, and $DAI. Hoi and at Brubankarg Habilitaran Crypto. Tanto Stablecoins, Como BTC YETH. Impression and K Desdi and Banco Habilitado por El BCRAS Ipuegan Comprar Criptomonedas, La Revolution Crypto Lego Paraquadars, Bravo. On the daily chart, the price of XRP in today's session is moving like a roller coaster. In April, the token depreciated by almost 35%. The downward momentum pushed the price to multi-month lows as the sales momentum in May was still maintained. In addition, the price is subject to further downside risk as the 50-day SMA continues to make it difficult for the asset to recover. The main support area is at $0. 55, a break below may lead to an additional drop in the price. A sharp drop in the price of XRP is now expected, as a higher volume, together with a large red candle, provides a breakthrough of long-standing support at $0.55 55, with an eye to $0.40. On the other hand, the recovery of bullish investor sentiment may push the price up. But the price has to face $0. 65 to retest the 50-day EMA, exponential moving average, at $0. 71. The daily relative strength index, RSI, has dropped sharply below 40, indicating bear activity in XRP. A large volume from a higher zone can lead to an even greater drop in the asset. The live XRP price today is $0. 88 US dollars with a 24-hour trading volume of 3,740,000,000 US dollars. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down 0.4% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.